Aloha all, and welcome to my next Let's Play. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and we are going to be doing a Let's Play of Kirby Air Ride. So, hello, hello. Hope you, hopefully, you enjoyed that little, uh, you know, intro scene, because I sure did. First time I saw that, I was just like, you know, this is going to be a good game. Now, Kirby Air Ride is a pretty fun game, and before I, you know, jump into Air Ride, um, which is the first mode we'll be tackling. I want to go over a few things. So there's three modes that uh, that we're going to be covering in this game, and it's actually the only three modes. There's Air Ride, Top Ride, and City Trial. Um, and then there's obviously an option setting, and I'm, I think I'll show you that first. Uh, you don't need to know the rumble sound. Uh, uh, you have movies, opening, how to play, all that stuff. And then you can delete the data. Now, I'm not going to delete my data. I have played this game quite a bit. Um, and I don't really feel, you know, like resetting it all just for the sake of the Let's Play. Um, because it's really, you, you know, nothing's... Nothing cannot... I don't know. I just don't feel like doing that. That's, that's pretty much... So let's go to Air Ride and we'll, you know, put the how to play on. Because I figure that's easier than me trying to explain... So, Air Ride only uses the forward and the A. Air Riding Machine floats just above the surface of the ground. So, I mean, this is going to explain everything. I don't really need to, you know, say much. But, um, Air Ride is, pro is my second favorite of the three modes. Um, I'll say that. Uh, I don't really play Air Ride, um, like the Air Ride mode that much. I mean, I do play it occasionally. But, um, I'm more of a city trial person. I play this game mainly for the multiplayer. Um, although it does have some pretty fun single player, and I'll, I'll still play city trial by myself. But, um, you know, majority of my experiences with this game have been in a multiplayer environment, just because I think that's the most fun. And I'm gonna adjust my mic real quick. Alright, I think that's better. Hopefully, hopefully I'm a bit louder now. But, um, yeah, here's displaying all the different, you know, type of, uh, thing. There's bomb, and there's a bunch of different things. It's like, you know, uh, it's like all the normal Kirby abilities. And there's lots of different courses, uh, as it's going through. And, I don't know, Air Ride's a fun mode, but City Trial is definitely where it's at, in my opinion. But we will get to that last. Um, I am not, I haven't decided yet, and I haven't even talked to you know, either of my normal partners, whether or not they would like to join me in for some extras, but I may or may not invite them in for some extras. Um, and one more thing before we, you know, start up into Air Ride, there is a how to play mode uh, that we just watched. There's records, um, there's a checklist, and then just best records, obviously game settings, uh, you know, I'm just going to leave all of these the same. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put on a, uh, you know, no, I know, I'm going to keep this speed thing on weak. And then there's free run, but we're going to start up because I want to get at least one course done in this. So as you can see, I have all the courses unlocked and everything, and we're just going to, you know, go in order for the way that you normally would go. And that would be, you know, right to left and then going down. So let's start up with Fantasy Meadows. Um, now, I don't know if I'm, I have everything unlocked, but I have, you know, some things unlocked. Uh, I actually don't think I have everything unlocked in this mode, but, uh, anyway, let me just a brief, you know, through the, the, you know, the carts that I do, or not the carts, but the, uh, stars that I do own, um, in Air Ride. So you have the Rocket Star. This is a pretty, you know, just generally slow star, but the Super Boost really, you know, it gets you, you know, gets you places fast. The Bulk Star charging it gives it fuel. It can take a beating. It's a pretty strong star. It's not one of my favorite stars, but, uh, and, you know, there's different styles to play. Formula Star, the best top speed of all, keep moving. As you move, your top speed just keeps on increasing, but if you bump into something, it lowers. Um, this is probably one of my favorite stars. Worst stars like the, uh, you know, generic normal star, um, it's better than the compact star, which I'll show a little bit later in the LP, but, um, it, it's really, it really is a solid overall, um, car, or star, that's what I meant to say. Uh, the wagon star can't charge up, but it has good points, you know, it's, it's, you know, somewhat fast, and it has a decent turning and all that, but it's just not a personal favorite of mine. 
Here's the swerve star, cruise stop, cruise stop. What that means is that there is no turning on this star whatsoever. You just go in a straight line. And it's really, you know, really good speed and the acceleration on it's really nice and the chars is good. But uh, the fact that there's no, you know, turning means that you really have to be pretty sharp with your uh, joystick maneuvering. Um, the slick star, slippery handling makes for tough control. Um, that description makes it sound like it's a terrible star, and it's, again, it's not one of my favorites, but it's not too bad of a star. I, I personally like it a bit better than, you know, say, the, uh, the bulk star. Um, and then the wheelie bike only has one wheel, control is unorthodox. It's just a weird, um, star on the overall. I don't really know how to describe it. But we're gonna click the rocket star and, you know, get up. Now, there's different colors that you can be. And, you know, I'm going to be the blue one to start out, because I like blue. It may not be my favorite color, but I do like blue. And I'm going to try out the Rocket Star. So, um, right off the bat, just so you guys know, I am not perfect at this game. I am, you know, I would never call myself, like, a master of Kirby Air Ride. Um, you know, I really enjoy the game, but I'm not, you know, super good. I'm not really that great at racing games on the overall. And it really, you know, how I do in air mode is basically dependent on, you know, the different uh, stars that my opponents pick. Um, I'm just, I'm just not that good at this game. Uh, but it is very fun, and I still want to do it, and that's why I'm going to do it. But as you can see, those computer players up there, are, you know, dominating me. Um, I was practicing this game a few days ago, and I actually did place first in a few, but, again, I know how good I am at this game, and I'm just saying that, you know, if you're looking for, you know, a really good run of this game by uh, someone who's really, you know, a solid racer, um, then you may be looking in the wrong spot. Uh, yes, as you can see, someone's already, you know, finished the thing, and then me and this guy are all the way back here, so... Oh, I'm not taking fourth though. I will not take fourth. So I took third in a you know a somewhat sloppy performance, but I don't know how those guys were you know going so fast. But you know third place is better than fourth place. And we got a course done, and we're gonna see if I'm gonna see if I can do another course too. Celestial Valley. Let's try it out. Um, in this one, I just you know just for the sake of it, I'm going to pick uh, I'm gonna pick the Swerve Star. Um, because, you know, I don't really know, I'm not, you know, extremely familiar with all these, uh, levels, but, you know, I have played, played them all, um, but, like, I don't know really which ones, you know, what's the best star for both. Oh, the one thing that you should know is that there actually is turning on this star, um, for when you're in the air, and, uh, that's, that's a, you know, a useful piece of information. But otherwise, yeah, zero turning. So, if... It, it, you know, it's a pretty good glider, too. I wouldn't say, you know, it's a very bad glider or anything. I, I think it's a pretty solid glider, in my opinion. Uh, maybe not the best. Maybe not as good as, you know, the... Shadow... I think it's called the Shadow Star or the Wing Star. But good in its own right. And... Yeah. So we're not, I mean, we're not doing too bad. But we probably could be doing better. Swerve Star's alright for this, just because, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of, um, gliding time in here, and considering, you know, like I said, this has a, you know, really good, you know, just normal sp speed, I mean, I, 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 you know, this isn't a bad choice for a, a level like this. Man. But, uh, yeah, this game is just really fun in the overall, like I said, I play it mainly for the, uh, the multiplayer, but, you know, I could definitely see why people like this game for other reasons other than the multiplayer. Um, I'm just gonna take this middle path again, because I don't, um, I don't really feel like taking the bottom path, and I find that the middle path is just, you know, overall the best, you know. Oh, I was in first for a second there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna... You know, you know, first was, uh, 
looking, you know, somewhat promising, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it now. Um, I personally, you know, I take the water. I was trying to, you know, not glide that much. I per personally take the water because it's just faster. But anyway, um, I'm going to have to do a little bit of editing here because I am a bit over the time limit. But, uh, you know, there's the first two courses of the game. Um, in the next episode, we will tackle, you know, hopefully we'll get two, I mean, three to maybe four courses done. But that's, you know, that's a little uh, positive thinking right there. For now, I'm Paper Mario Guy, and I hope that you will enjoy this LP because it will be one of very many over the summer. Um, until next time, I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros, and I'll see you all next time.